I have looked over the mountain and seen the boat coming in. And the boat has a cup in it. And the cup does shine in a silvery fashion. It is the World Cup. Too many years, 40 long years in the wilderness. But I'm here to tell you that the waiting is over. For I believe that if we all believe, we will win in Berlin, July the 9th, the World Cup. What do you reckon, sir? I was born William Alfred Lever, George. July the 30th, 1966. This is where I was born. And uh, I was actually born at the precise moment when Jeff Hurst clinched the World Cup for us with his third goal. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? All right. All right. Dad. How are you, Dad? Um, well, can, I, can I bring some friends in? It's a documentary crew. They're doing like a, a feature on me on me campaign. What campaign? Then? Well, me belief campaign. You know, it's direct if they come in. Oh no, it's all right. Well, well, I said they could. Well, they can't, because we've just had the cap at the end. Wait, well, they'll, well, they'll take the shoes off. Is me mum in? No, she's not in. Mum? Oh. Hi, Alright, mum. That's me mum. That's uh, that's Enid through there. You see. Ah, uh, this is this. It's a documentary crew. Yeah, we are right to come in. Right, can I just come in. through, lads? Well, just well, like. Alright, mum. What about the carpet? This is me mum. This is Enid. And this is me dad, Jack. Yeah. All right, yeah. you wipe your feet. Then. And they wipe the feet. Yeah. It's, uh, so here we are. You know, this is it. This is, uh, you know, we're now at the precise location, more or less, where I was born. I was, uh, so my mum, um, you know, she, she went into labour in the kitchen there just as they kicked off, you yeah. know. Yeah. So obviously there wasn't time to get her at the hospital there. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's funny, I've often thought, like, you know, I must have been desperate to get out. Oh, you were. I, I, I yeah, must have been, you know, and I always think, like, I just got out, you know, a little bit quicker. I might have caught extra time, yeah. but it William, wasn't to be. I'm yeah. on nights, man. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, he was yeah, early, you know. Yeah. He shouldn't yeah. have been due until August. Mm. And of all things, he comes yeah. on the day of the World Cup final. I mean, you, how can you, you can't believe that, can you? All that screaming that was going on there. The screaming four. was what? me in agony, yeah. <laughs> delivering this child. But it put me off, put me off the match. Spoiled it, really, for me. But on the other hand, I was glad for her. Well, us. But her, really. There's a photograph of me there. Um, it's me when I was about... How old was I? Nine. Nine, nine. 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 Because if you look, I'm, I'm holding an orange ball. It's an omen. You know, that orange ball, to me anyway, looks remarkably similar to the one that Jeff Hurst, you know, well, he did against the Germans in 66. So, again, it's another one of them connections, you know, that's... You think there's something going on here, like, you know? He was a big bouncing baby, wasn't he? Yeah, and healthy. I mean, he's still a, a bit of a baby healthy. now, and like, still, but not he'll as He'll always be my more, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the trouble half the time. Always been no trouble, take yeah. no notice of him. Yeah, well, he's a smashing lad. Debatable. Oh, debatable. I was thinking, um, you know, when the final's on, when we when we get the final, is it all right if I come round here to watch it? What's wrong with your telly? Well, why not? I just, um, I thought that's probably like a lucky telly, isn't it? I mean, it was in 66. Not the same one. Well, no, well, uh, it's not the same telly, but it's in the same position. You know, maybe, maybe it's the position that's lucky. No, maybe it's all right. So that'd be all right if I, if I, if I come round and sit where you sat. Like, was it, where were you? Were you about here? In 66, was it about here? No. Right, 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 right. Cheers, Dad. Handball referee! Handball ref, which game ref. are we watching here, mate? Handball! This is me old school playing fields. I used to uh, play for the team when I was a kid. Well, I never actually got picked for the team, but I, I used to come and support them, you know. You're a disgrace to the profession! You're not Swiss by any chance, are you? We were playing um, St. Malky's, I think, wasn't it? St. Malky's, uh, um, They'd been awarded a penalty. And I mean, it was never a penalty, was it? Never a penalty. I mean, a guy never touched him. Anyway, you know, the ref give it, and um, I remember I was looking at me Mars bar, and and started concentrating, and I'm going, miss, miss, and just as the guy's running up to take it, took a bite. What did he do? Skied it, didn't he? Skied it. 
Straight over the bar. Miss the penalty. You know? Hey. Oh, come on, man. You just let him run through. You were lucky. You were lucky, son. Lucky. Last week, when we were down here watching the Burns, you know, perfectly good goal the away team scored. No wrong rate, was it? Not wrong rate. No wrong rate, you know, fair dues. Perfectly good goal. But as I saw it go in, <laughs> took a bite. Ref disallowed it. Funny that, eh? So, have a look at this. Do you think that's straight? What, the flag? That's still not straight to me. That's straight to me, that's, that's probably the way you stand and stand there. Oh, yeah. Stand there and have a look. Well, I think that's. Actually, you could do with going up a bit that uh, side, yeah. No, actually, hold on, it looks straight now, I'm No, that, that's it. No, see, now that looks wonky. Uh, just come in, lads, I'm just bring the lads in uh, This is uh, Sue, obviously, you've met. And um, this really is, um, this is exactly where my mission uh, began, you know, because uh, it was late one night, uh, Sue was fast asleep, and uh, I'd come up to bed and I was lying, I'd have been lying here, because uh, I'd, I'd been up late uh, watching the highlights of the um, Slovenia versus uh, uh, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Uh, it was nil-nil. I'm just starting to finally doze off, foot of the bed. This strange, unearthly light appeared, you know? And a voice, a voice just like out of the ether. William Lever said. You know, I mean, I looked up, and then all of a sudden the light, like, manifested in a, a human form and it was like a bloke in a red top with a number 10 on his back and he's carrying an orange ball you know and the gadgie turns round blow me down jeff hurst the ghost of jeff hurst at the end of me bed which is weird you know in one sense because he's not dead but um i said hello jeff and he says uh, he says william you have been given a wonderful gift, a wonderful power. It... What are you doing? Nice. You've been given a wonderful power, and you must go out and spread the word, and the word is believe. That's what he said, didn't he? Believe. Mm. He said believe. You must believe and tell everyone else to believe, and if they all believe, we will win. The World Cup. And then he just vanished. Just like in a in a puff of smoke, he was gone. And that, that is when it hit us. That's when I knew. From that day on, I would no longer be known as William Lever. William, we've called him, haven't we, both of us? Sure. William, all his life, right? He gets up to 40 and he just he changes his name. Yeah, but tell him why. It's wonderful, why? Bill Lever. Do you get it? Bill Lever. Bill Lever. It's fab. You know, it's I mean... It's an omen. Something wrong there, isn't it? No, Screw loose. It's fabulous. You know what I mean? Bill Lever. He's here. Oh. The boys. genius oh. has landed. Hey, oh, hey, Rembrandt. Right. Right. This is Rembrandt. Um, He's uh, the best artist we know, if you get me drift. <laughs> Works down at the Mars Bar Rapper Factory, Rembrandt. What? Look at that. Hey, can you see? Look at them. Rembrandt, that is a work of art. No kidding, mate. Cheers, no kidding. Ma. I mean, I knew they were going to be good, but, you know, honestly, I never expected anything. Seriously, mate, that's, that's, that's just amazing. Look at that. Fantastic. Hey? Wonderful, isn't it? Hey? I'll show you how they work, right? Watch you imagine he's Joe Public, right? I walk up to him and I say, do you believe? I believe. No, I haven't given you the bar yet, Mark. Right. You, you too, Uncle Rick. Do you believe? Do you believe? No. Right, say no, he's a non-believer, right? So you give him one of these, you say, take a bite, right? He takes a bite, and you ask him again. So do, do, you, do you believe? Her? I believe. What? I believe. You what? I believe. Oh, yeah, right, I see, believes, right? Yeah. Wait, well, hey, hey, we'll try it out. Right, oh. right, have a bite, have a bite. Right. Right. Ask him. Do you believe it? Do you know? Well, I, I believe. Yeah, you what? I, I believe. I believe. When you nailed it. Works. And you hey, works now. for me. Right, sit down, lads. I'll there. Uh, do you just want to? I'll get Sue to make you a cup of tea. Sue! Sue, can you make them a cup of What's that? Oh, I the t-shirt. Well, I see it's ready. a t-shirt. What's that in the middle of the t-shirt? Sea lions. Sea lions? You asked for sea lions. 
I didn't ask for sea lions. I thought you asked for sea lions. Brothers and sisters, I have in my hand a bar of chocolate. And I believe that if we all believe, we will win! Do you believe we're going to win the World Cup this year? Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. But I believe that our dear has come. Has come. Yeah. You don't look so sure, sir. I'm a believer. You're a believer, are you? Well, take a, a bite on that, and I'll tell you, no can gone wrong. I believe we shall return from foreign shores with what is rightfully ours. Rightfully yeah. ours. Did he believe, Trev? I believe. No, did he? Oh, he believes. Oh, champion. And I also believe, brothers and sisters, that we have nothing, absolutely nothing to fear, not even penalty. <laughs> Obviously, um, I've never done anything like this before, you know, it's, um, but it's as if sort of uh, I, I instinctively knew what to do, you know. Um, it's like almost like, it, it seemed like I was been guided by some invisible force. And uh, that's when I realised I need help. Uh, not that kind of help, you know. Um, but, uh, so I need help with my mission. And that's where where Trevor had become my first real disciple, so to speak. Yeah. Oh, hi, me, me and William, we, we go way back. Yeah. We've sort of been best mates forever. Never thought he'd turn out to be an evangelist, though. Well... What's that? Stop. I can see it's a top. What are you doing wearing that? Everything else was in the wash. Come here. Sorry. I wear a Brazil top. In the middle of a campaign. You think it's good at... I mean, why not just wear a German top? Are you? And that's where Trev became my first um, disciple, so to speak. Oh, oh, I... Me and William, we, we go way back. We've sort of been best mates forever. He's not full compass mentis, is he, really? Yes, he is. Take no notice of him. He's a very clever he's lad. He's not. He's, he's, he's warped. Like, you believe bars are 31 to 34 inclusive, yeah? So you're covered there, and uh, you want an apple 45. I love it. I just yeah. love the way it's lit up and everything, and I can see yeah. everything. It's like a fridge and a lamp now. Mm -hmm. It looks fantastic. Yeah. I'm thrilled to bits. What's this? What do you think? Took the fridge away, put this in. Ah, it's good, isn't it? So you want an onion, right? An uh, onion. Well, onions are 11, right? Aye. So you put your 50 pence in there, press 11, out comes your onion. 50 pence for an onion? Well, it's not costing you 50 pence, is it? Is Why it? is that? It costs you saving money. I save money. So yeah. if I'm making a spaghetti bolognese, it would cost me £18.50 in about five hours. Look, what do you want? Well, I want a fried egg sandwich. That's what I want. Right, we put your 50 pence in there, right? In here? Yeah, put it in the slot. There. there. Right. Now, press 3 and 5, 35. 3 and right. 5. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Should come out. All right. Yeah, well, maybe you have to be a bit quicker, you know. Trev has had a brilliant idea. You see, we're not far from the Leeds Bradford Airport here, and we reckon that we're probably on the flight path directly to Germany, see? So, um, you've heard of their uh, crop circles? Well, this is like our version. We're going to dig the word believe into the school playing fields so that, like, passing planes can read it. Right? Brilliant. You know? Yeah, my idea. Uh, the mayor, I th I'm sure it is mine. I'm sure Germany is that way. I think you're right. I think you're right. There we go. Champion. Hey, what? Trev. Sterling job, mate. Sterling job. Is that couldn't fantastic have, or what? I couldn't have done better myself, I tell you. Well, There's one heading that way uh, now, Bill. Ah, uh, uh, but that's the first people to read this, eh? Hey? Do you think they're reading it now as we're speaking? They'll be reading it now. Uh, that's tremendous, mine. Trevor, I've got to see you. you. You've done a sterling job there, mate. Now that the movement's really starting to, um, you know, like gather momentum, we figured, wait, hey, let's let's write a song, you know, let's write like a theme tune, you know, for the campaign, some at, um some sort of uplifting, some rousing, you know, some anthemic. Like an anthem. Aye, like an anthem, you know. Some to, some to really get the crowd going. Can you think of a rhyme for Stuttgart? 
Dust cat. England, 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 England. England, England, we're gonna win. England. I think I've heard that before somewhere. Sounds quite good, Bill. It's catching, like you know? Yeah? Our forwards, who art in training, hallowed be thy turf. Thy will be done. We'll win 5 1 in Berlin, as we did in Munich. Give us this dear, our half time pies, and forgive us our stray passes, as we forgive those who stray pass against us. And lead us not into elimination, but deliver us unto the final. Our men. Brothers and sisters, are we afraid of the French? No! Are we afraid of the Germans? No! Are we afraid of the Brazilians? No! Because we have nothing to fear but fear itself! Come on, England! Come on! He believes it, and I believe it, and if we all believe it, it'll work. And we'll win. It's fabulous. I'm thrilled for him. I really am. Crackers. I mean, it's understandable that people do have doubts sometimes, you know, I mean, I'll be honest with you, Trev, I've had the odd blip myself. Well, you know I have. Well, I, I mean, you've had any amount of blips, but the point is, we've got to steer strong, you know? If we don't believe, then the lads won't believe, will they? No, Simple they as that, you know? I believe we'll beat the Swedes and Paraguayans at a straw. I believe that if you wear the shirt with pride, you'll play your role. I believe for every tear that Gaza cried will score a goal. I believe that on July the 9th in Berlin we will win! If you and you and you and I... July the 11th, you're having a laugh, aren't you? You've got to keep that week free. Victory parade, victory parade. 